am getting ready to film my skincare routine for you guys because you requested it. By the way, I got this off of Amazon. It's so cute. They come in a pack of three and it comes in like different colors. It's so cute. Mm -hmm. My um, skincare routine is really simple. It's four step routine. I use three products and one tool. So let me just explain to you the products. And as I'm explaining it, I'm going to show you how I use it. So we're gonna like kind of travel back in time after this video when I actually wash my face when I'm gonna do it during this video anyway it's going to make sense as you watch it the first step of my skincare routine is my cleanser your cleanser is very 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 important the cleanser that I use is the Olay total effects 7 in 1 foaming cleanser I specifically use the revitalizing one they have like different ones but I use the revitalizing one I used to have a lot of breakouts like a lot of pimples when I was younger I'd have pimples on my forehead and on my nose as I got older I started getting more pimples like on my chin area I am terrified of breaking out nowadays I do get pimples every now and then um, on my chin mostly when it's like I don't know that time of the month TMI but other than that my current skincare routine has actually been just saving my whole life the first step that I do is I take a little bit like a dime size amount I squeeze it in my hands I lather my face with water and I just wash it so I'm doing my first wash I do two washes so my first wash is really just to get my makeup off the dirt off and leave it cleansed for step two which is the second one so I'm just showing you my cleanser here. I'm turning on the faucet, putting my hair back, and I am wetting my face to prepare some lathering with some cleanser. So I'm just gonna squeeze a dime size amount on my hand and just lather it all over my face. Make sure I get off all of the makeup on my forehead, my eyeshadow, my bronzers, lipstick, everything. Get that all off and scrubby dubby. And then I'm just going to rinse off all of the cleanser for step two. Oop. Oop, there you go. So in step two, I take a little face scrub pad thingy I don't really know what this is called but I get this at the Dollar Tree this is two for a dollar and if you look closely it just has these little tiny tiny bristles on them if you can't find these at the Dollar Tree they also sell these at like Marshalls or TJ Maxx they come in a pack of two usually they come in different shapes sometimes they're round sometimes they're like square or whatever and they're like two three four dollars a pack so they're pretty inexpensive and this guys is like I feel like has made the biggest impact so after my first cleanse I take a dime size amount I put it onto here and I gently exfoliate my skin I don't press down really hard I just on the surface glide it through in little circular motions and I feel like that way it gets off all the dead skin it really um, cleanses it a little bit deeper it refreshes me to like rejuvenate new skin cells um, so, so I'm just going to squeeze a dime size amount of cleanser onto my face scrub thingy and I'm just going to exfoliate all over my face I am trying to hit every area of my face to make sure I scrub away the dead skin cells but make sure that you don't scrub too hard because your skin is very delicate so a gentle scrubbing and I'm just going to rinse it away rinsey rinse and then I'm just going to pat my face dry really gently you see I'm not rubbing the towel against my face I'm just patting away the moisture so I can prepare myself for the next step in care routine so part number three I do two different things I'll tell you what I'm doing currently so currently I am taking a few drops of this Elemis Pro Collagen Rose Facial Oil this I was lucky enough to get in my BoxyCharm Typically, this is pretty pricey, and honestly, once I'm done with this, I don't know if I'm going to be repurchasing it separately because it is really pricey. Step three is more like a three to four times a week type of thing. I feel like this step is what 
gives me that elasticity and that youthfulness on my skin. If you can't get your hands on the Elemis, another really great step three, which I've used in the past and that have worked wonders, is the Clinique uh, Vitamin C Serum, and I'll put it up right here. And this serum, I used to use it about four times a year, so like once a season. And I typically like to use it like before special events or before a big vacation or something like that. And what it is, it's a, it's a little vitamin like C, like fresh serum. And it only really lasts like a week or two. I try to stretch it out for two weeks. Once you open it, it's like a fresh serum. So once you open it, it kind of starts to expire. So that's why it only lasts for like a week or two weeks. You put that like that would be my step three, but that would be every day for one to two weeks. And what it does is, it's amazing, it leaves your skin really, really bright and youthful looking. And I remember last time I used it this past summer, I used, and you see the results almost immediately, honestly. And people were like, wow, your skin is like glowing. Oh my gosh. And I tell them like, it's this revitalizing stuff from Clinique. It's freaking amazing. Um, so yes, currently step three is this though. So I'm going to show you this. So now I'm just showing you my Elemis face oil and I am just going to drop it, drop it, drop it, and two more drops on my neck. So I put three drops on my face and two drops on my neck. We cannot forget our neck. It is a part of our appearance and I am just rubbing in the oil all over my face and this stuff smells so good it smells just like roses um, make sure I'm getting it all down my neck as well and then we are going to move to the last step and then the last step to my skincare routine is also a really, really important step that you cannot avoid. So you cannot avoid the cleansing. You cannot avoid this exfoliating. Part three, the expensive part, you can kind of avoid or you can splurge a little on skincare just to give you that little oomph, you know, that little glow or that little youthfulness um, depending on what you need. Part four, moisturizing, you cannot skip. So moisturizer, I use the Clinique Dramatically Different moisturizing lotion and I've raved about this so many times guys. I just feel like it's so gentle. Um, there's no fragrance in it. It's really gentle. I feel like my skin just drinks it up and seals everything in um, and I really really love this. So I take two pumps right on my face and I rub it in and I'm good to go. So we are finally at our last step with our moisturizer. I just pump a little on that side and pump a pump on that side and then I just rub it all in to seal in our freshly cleansed skin and obviously don't forget to rub down to your neck and under your eyes. Gorgeous. So that was my skincare routine. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a wonderful, beautiful comment if you would like. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. I hope you guys have a wonderful, fabulous day, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.